Hey folks, Wayne here, Scott Motor Coach. Uh, today we're going to talk about a Keystone Springdale. It's actually a Scott Motor Coach original, dating back to 2001 when we carried him. Well, guess what? They're back. And they're back for a few reasons. Number one, it's the industry's best three-year warranty. Uh, another reason, everybody has solar now. So this has a little solar port right here. And you can pick up a portable solar panel in our parts department to charge your battery and run some lighting when you're not plugged in. Also, if you notice on the front here, it's got your nice handy dandy power tongue jack. So you don't have that arm, that rotator cuff surgery down the road with the power tongue jack. You have two 20 pound propane bottles here. As we're getting going down the side of the coach here, we have a huge pass-through storage. It goes all the way across. So all your fishing poles, your, your folding tables, and your chairs can all be stored right in there. So yeah, this is your pass-through storage. It goes all the way to the other side. If you notice right here, we have a little button, extend, retract. Nope, it's not for your awning. It's for your power jacks. You have power jacks on the front and the back and the power tongue jack. Again, no rotator cuff surgery needed. As we look down the side of the Springdale, we have the electric awning, which is push button inside. You have two marine grade ABS speakers on the outside. You have an electrical hookup, so you can plug in a television, an iPod dock, or whatever you'd like. And if you notice on the side here, it says it's equipped with the Arctic package. What that means to you guys is you have an enclosed underbelly. So in the winter time, it's going to keep it nice and warm. It's going to keep your floors a little bit warm and aerodynamics as far as towing down, going down the road. Okay, folks, do want to point out. On every Scott Motor Coach towable here, we do care about your safety. This towable weighs 6701. That's the actual weight, weight of this vehicle. Also, I want you to notice that we have our QR code. You can scan it and see all the priority RV dealerships in the United States and Canada. So when you're traveling, you have emergency roadside service when you purchase a vehicle from Scott Motor Coach. Also, I also want to point out that the DSI Quali Quality Circle Award winner for three years in a row, Springdale has won the award as being one of the highest quality travel trailers in the industry. Again, we care about your rest. This RV sleeps eight people, so it takes the guesswork out of it. We put it right on the side. As I told you at the front, we have a huge pass-through going across the front. On this Springdale 2960, you have a huge pass-through going all the way across the back too. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. Soccer gear, camping gear, grills, whatever you want to bring with you camping. All right, folks, if we notice down here, we have an LP Quick Connect. What that means to you is you can bring a portable grill with you and you don't have to worry about one of those green canisters that you have to go and try and find in the sporting goods store or hardware store. You can hook up a Quick Connect and right to your grill and it's feeding from the 20 pound propane bottles, two of them, on the front of the coach. Also, if you notice down here, this big apparatus with the button again right there for extending and retracting. No, that's not for your awning, it's for your jacks. That's how you put your power jacks down in the back. As we come around to the back, my favorite part of this Springdale Summerlin series is the pre-wire for a backup camera. So when you're towing into a campground late at night and the missus doesn't want to get out of the car because it's too cold or it's raining, well just pop that backup camera on and you can see what's behind you as you're backing up. Also, the nice part about the 2960 Summerlin Series travel trailer is the huge rear garage. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Your imagination can run wild. Heck, you probably could even mount a big 50-inch flat screen TV back there if you wanted. One of the things that's very unique about the Keystone Springdale Summerlin Series is the way they do their seals on their slide outs. With this slide out that's extended three and a half feet, you have a triple seal. You have the outer seal, which is this one. You have another inner seal, which is this one. And probably the most important, and it goes back to the early 2000s, is this aluminum sea channel seal in here. So what it's designed to do, if water penetrates this seal, penetrates that seal, it's gonna catch that aluminum sea channel and it runs straight out the bottom of the coach. So the chances on water getting in there are minimum. Before we go inside, just wanna point out one other thing about the exterior of the Springdale Summerlin series. If you notice, all your moldings that secure the siding from the front to the back are black. And inside here is a little piece of black insert molding. Why I point that out is, a lot of trailer manufacturers use white. What does white do over time sitting out in the sunlight? It turns to yellow. Black will always stay black. 
So let's go inside and have some fun. All right, folks, we're on to the fun of the inside. And if you notice right here on the side of the slide out, we have a window here and a window there, so it gives you natural light. There are some companies out there that don't have a window on either side, so it makes it very dark and claustrophobic inside. Now with Keystone, they pride themselves on bigger people having room at, their di at the dinette to sit. So you have plenty of room for four people here. This table does remove and drop down into a bed so you can sleep two people here. As well as storage up underneath both dinettes. Now, being as this sleeps eight people, the kids could be involved. So on the nights that you want to cook spaghetti on the stove, and you don't want the kids getting your new upholstery all spaghetti stained up, you can actually flip the dinette cushions around to a vinyl marine grade. Put it there, and there, and no spaghetti on your upholstery. As we come over here, I want you to notice there's a USB port. It's actually two of them. So with the kids with their iPads or you with your iPhone or Android or whatever device you're using, you don't have to worry about finding that puck adapter because you can just plug in right there. You have a nice residential style sofa, very comfortable and great viewing to view the television. Also, it does turn out to be a sleeper. Drops down, nice and easy. And underneath there is where you can store your cases of water and soda and whatever other big buys you want to pick up in the grocery store before camping. Alrighty, so over here we have a great amount of storage here, here, and here, and here. So you can put DVDs, bags of chips, boxes of cereal, whatever you'd like to go camping with. You have a nice Furion television right here, HD TV. It is wired right into your, uh, your sound system right there. So you have USB ports right there and there. So if you want to bring a Blu-ray, you can do that. A DVD player can do that. If you want to stream a movie off your, um, your iPad, you can do that. A number of different ways to watch movies or television in here. All right, folks. Obviously, on cooler, cooler days such, such as today, you need a place to hang your jacket. They put little hooks in there for you so we can hang our jackets up. We can put our boots and flip-flops and shoes right there. We can even take a rest while we're putting our shoes on, if need be. So that's a pretty nifty little um, little compartment there for you. If you notice, the kitchen countertop is a very, very good size. You have the deep bowl sink and uh, a stainless steel spigot. If you notice again, storage is abundant in here. You have storage there. You have a little spice rack here storage up there. There's a lot of storage in here. And if you notice, your your drawers are full extension drawer guides, meaning you don't have to reach your hand in there. It's easy to go in the back and find a knife, spoon, or fork. Stainless steel outside, microwave, and oven. All right, folks, here is your thermostat. It controls your heat and your air conditioning. Now just like, like the house, hot air rises, cold air drops, okay? So you got your in-duct floor heating, and then you have your in-roof duct work. So your air conditioner, when it's on, cold air is gonna drop. Now when the heat's on, hot air rises. Science, brilliant, to use a, to use a quote from a colleague of mine. You have hardwood door going to the kids' room, and a hardwood door going to the bedroom, bathroom, okay? The kids' room, if they're up all night, you don't have to hear them because there's a door there and there's a door going in the master suite as well. Now, while entering into the kids' room or in-laws' room, because this is a double over double bunkhouse. What I mean by that, it's a double bed on the bottom. So if you want to put two couples in here, two there and two there, if, if you're close like that, that'd be fine. But if not, you can fit at least three kids, definitely two kids on each bunk. Also, in the rear suite here, you have an induct floor heating uh, register, and you also have an air register, so your guests are comfortable, but don't make them too comfortable, otherwise they won't want to leave. Also in the rear suite, at your headboards, you have nifty little storage compartments. So all the kids' toys, uh, any belongings you want to really hide because it 
It doesn't look like a storage compartment, but it is. It's all for you to put in. Also, you have a, uh, an outlet right here to plug in a cell phone at night or any device, and another one down below. Over here, because the kids or the cup or the guests do need uh, storage space, you do have this big hanging closet. Okay, folks, right here we have our not-so-fun part of the job, but everybody needs to do business. You have your uh, marine toilet with the foot flush. So there's no reaching in the back of the toilet after you're doing your business to flush the toilet. Just flush it and forget it. You have a medicine cabinet, which is very nice. So you can put all your uh, toiletries right in. And a mirror so you can make sure you look good before going out into the campground. And in, in the shower part, you have a one-piece ABS shower surround. So that way, if you get a little crazy with the shampoo, you don't have to worry about messing up your wallboard. It is on your ABS, so it'll be easy to clean. Earlier I told you, mom and dad need privacy too. Here's the hardwood door for mom and dad's privacy. If you notice up top here, you have ample storage to store whatever belongings you would like to bring with you. A lot of storage in this Springdale front. You have a hanging wardrobe right here. And then for your dirty socks or smelly bathing suits, you have a laundry chute and it goes right outside. Also, storage up underneath for whatever you'd like to store there. Maybe tote boxes. Again, folks, another AC register up top and a heat register down on the floor. Okay, folks. Thank you for the time of watching the short video on the Springdale Summerlin Series 2960. And I hope to see you down here in Lakewood, New Jersey at Scott Motor Coach RV. Thank you and have a great day.